In the middle of a health emergency, the University of Oregon started a massive vaccina vaccination clinic today to prevent the spread of meningitis. Lane County health oh. leaders tell us they suspect it killed an 18-year-old student athlete and put three other people in the hospital. Our Lisa Balick is live in Eugene. And Lisa, are they getting a pretty big turnout? Well, so far, several thousand students have come here to the Matthew Knight Arena to get those shots, and they expect several thousand more will as the clinics go on for the next three days. I talked to a lot of students, and they tell me this shot they believe could save their life. Thousands of University of Oregon students are making the effort to get the meningitis vaccine. Annie Latham told me she has a good reason why she's here today. Um, well, I decided to do this because um, three of the girls who were actually hospitalized for it were in my class. And so I was like super recommended to go get it. And I just like am really paranoid that I'm going to get stuff. So just wanted to be safe. No one wants to be here rolling up their sleeve for a poke. But with the four cases on campus of meningococcemia, a form of meningitis, a blood infection that killed one student, it's the biggest college campus outbreak in over a year. This is the best way to prevent getting it. The girl who passed away was actually in my math class, so that kind of shocked me into getting it for sure. Freshman Kyle Merrill is one of several students I found who knew the student who died from the infection. It was crazy because like uh, just two days before that she was in class and then we all got the email that one of the students passed away and then uh, I know some of the people on the acro team and they told me it was her and it was just the weirdest part was like she was completely fine like two days before and then she was just gone. That's why he and others are getting vaccinated and urging others to do the same. One reason college campuses are a breeding ground for meningitis is that it's shared when you cough or sneeze or it's spread through saliva. I'm on the lacrosse team here and so we were told by our coaches that we had to go get it because it, we just spend so much time together and it can be easily transmitted through through uh, sports teams because of the, all the saliva through water bottles and sweat. The new vaccine to protect against the bacterial infection is only for high-risk people, but that now includes U of O students after the recent cases on campus. It's really like kind of stressful because especially like just like a random virus that's super rare like killed somebody. So Now, the students will have to get two more shots again in May and September for that vaccine to be fully effective. And keep in mind, it's voluntary, but they've got moms and dads calling them, urging them to get the vaccine, as well as a lot of the kids here on campus urging others to get this vaccine. Live in Eugene, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.